OJ. This podcast is brought to you by Itopia Life, where cannabis and culture combine for a one of a kind experience. Visit them at 10A West Kings House Road, just across from the Canadian Embassy. And you can also visit their webpage at www.itopialife.com. And you can go to their Instagram at Itopia Life. So, yeah. For latest info on strains and merch. Yes. This podcast is also brought to you by Pure24. Pure natural supplements designed to enhance the body and mind. They make supplements affordable, effective, and easy to understand. Go visit pure24store.com. Their products ship worldwide. Can't forget to mention that. And I also can't forget to mention that you can use the code THEFIX to get 15% off all items. That's promo code the fix to get 15% off all items purchased from the store. Of course, you can use the link in the description to get that discount. You see me? Also, we are bigger. Lothian's Boutique. Follow them on Instagram at Lothian's Boutique and you can check them out at 23 West Tradeway in Portmore. And you can use my code Arian10 to get 10% off your next bundle purchase. I don't know, so we big up all our patrons. Them, DB, Tamu, Good, Richard, Vaughn, Zach, E, especially the Fix National. Them, big up on themselves. If you want first access to content before it's dropped, bonus content, exclusive content, you can support us at patreon.com slash the Fix J A. The J that think Kingdom thing, I think she buy. I think I don't think she's lesbian because we've known of our history with several men within the industry. Uh, uh, going like it's documented. If you don't know, no, can go research it. I think it's a bi thing. I don't think it's a lesbian thing. Mm. Um, uh, but yeah, that's not surprising any other. Because the question is warm to verse. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're like a lesbian, then that means ver- verse is a woman. Yeah, that's, that, <laughs> that's what they say in a verse or of a vagina. Or is it there or um, what? Like, yeah. when not there, like, when never did there. So. Is that a fraud relationship? Yeah, um, that's the question. It's a relationship just for yeah. sure. So but I yeah. think she's more, and I think a couple of people comment and I say, oh, I think you're more bi. Mm. But I mean, I'm not trying to invalidate her or what she, she, she says she's a lesbian. It just begs the question, what happened to verse? Cause it could be that so. she did straight and no, she just lesbian. Cause I know girls like that, you know, them have, you know relationships with men. with men and then them just say, a woman, the thing, you know, I'm lesbian mm. and claim. And you know, I never really liked that explanation of it. It's always weird to me. It's right? a weird thing. It's and I mean, weird. again, then, I'm not trying to... use dildos. Huh? It's, it's all weird to No, me. well, that's, that's sexual. No, that's the sexual aspect of it. You know, and them always say that it's not... It's not about sex. It's about the person and, you know, the attraction and... And you're attracted to... Women. What, what sexual elements are linked to attraction? <laughs> What's it's it? how hard to describe to, it? It's hard to, to, to completely separate the two. True. But for the most part, they always say it's about the woman or the, the man, whatever, the person that they're attracted to. She coming out on the back of Lila Ike is very funny to me as, uh, as well. I will soon tell you why. Yeah, but no. um, No, and them say that, you know, so if... If a man do you something, you automatically turn to women. So it's like you hate men that much. Yeah. Is that I just don't get it? No, a you're a lesbian or you're a whatever. negative response to a negative response by females to like yeah. a bad relationship with a man. Or that's several how, that's how bad relationships. Yeah, yeah. That's how my my experience that yeah. what's I've seen that. You know, I mean, I've heard of cases where people have been molested when they were young. And because of that, you know, they've had a, you almost want to say a fear of men and a strong dislike and hate of men. Mm. But I don't know, you know, because then it would, then it would say it's a choice and not who you are, if you understand what I mean. Mm. So I never really liked that excuse. It's like, I love women all my life i've just forced to be bad re- i've been forced to be in relationship with men and they've always seemed bad and i'm just now living my experience so i hate it when them say oh i've had bad experiences with men so i'm now turning to women because then when they set it up like that you've now made it a choice exactly and then you're so gonna it's say either, it's not a choice exactly so it's, so it's very i'm just confusing. saying i just don't like that just to like you know you know it's bad mine, experience mine make them try to cancel like chapel well, yeah. Twitter. I remember just a couple months ago, I finally, for the first time, gained the courage <laughs> to tell my mother that I'm a lesbian. 
And she told me she been knew that all these years. Well, it's funny now to me and interesting to me that mm-hmm. she should come out and say this no. Right after Lila Ike come out. Mm-hmm. At the song when she put out one of them jungle. Which sounds <laughs> like a Lila Ike song to me. It's a reggae song. Mm. Right? Which is very confusing to me. Uh, me. Me tell you this before the podcast. Eh? It, it don't fit our image none at all. Why is this the first single? Basically the first single you put out since you signed to, to, to Republic Records. It just don't add up to me. The maths just not compute to me none at all. The type of song. You, you how you carry yourself. It just it just don't count. Not to say that she can't show her versatility and do those type of songs. You see, if this was like an album cut, cool, fine. Is it Miss Arega song? You're Jamaican. Yeah, try to cater to the audience that might just listen to you because you have Jamaican roots or them know say you're Jamaican. Fair and fine. But you put this out. It's basically the first single you put out since you make that big sign in the to Republic. And this is what you put out. This is how them envision you being like. Operating in that lane, it's weird. It's been a bizarre couple, couple of, days. of days. Really has been very but, bizarre. I mean, you know, as I say, like I just don't like the surrounding or the the extenuating circumstances in which Leela had to come out. If I, if in fact it was a coming out, you know, mm. so I don't like that because it no matter what, no matter what. People should have the, the option that people should have their own choice to make their own decision. And when you take it away from the person, because I guess you want money, you're bitter, you're vexed, whatever the reason. Yeah. You know, I think that it's not cool mm. to take that option her or, or her choice away from her. People have to do say maybe some lovers, Tiff. Well, either way. It's mm. not cool. Because if you are the lover, which I'm assuming is either a, what, a woman or a man, like a man. It could be either side. Well, it could be a, a man that <coughs> discovered this and trying to alter. Or a scorned yeah. woman who maybe she was with a beard, if you will, and mm-hmm. the girl never liked it. And then you know, and she has say, yo, you know what? I'm tired of hiding our love. I'm going to put this out to the world. You know them thing they go. Yeah, but either way, whatever the situation, I mean, you're just hypothesizing now, and I guess I try and try contextualize everything. But whatever the reason, mm. the point is, no one should take that, should remove the power from her. And I think that's the sad thing about it. She should have had the power in the, the way in which you come out, the setting in which you come out, the time in which you come out. Mm. And she you know she was robbed of that. And I, I can't support that no matter what. Yeah. No matter the situation. And I mean, I don't care. I mean, let's be honest here. <laughs> well, you know, I don't care. Gay, uh, straight. Uh, I have uh, no care. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm fine with whoever. Uh, People okay. need to be. I've always said it. Like, I, I think there are a lot of gay men in this country and they're probably angry. Mm. And, you know, they can't do things because of the societal expectations and pressure that they live under. So, women, we get the blunt of it. We're being bu- abused and mistreated and whatever. And, you know, I think that people should be free to live their own life without judgment from other people. As long as they not interfere with you, live your life. That's basically my live modus your operandi life. with them thing. You know what I mean? If it's not, bring it to me. If it's not forced, yeah. if it's not a child, yeah. live your life. People yeah. should be free to live them life without yeah, yeah. any judgment. And, it no matter, and to be honest, even so, it's not just even homosexuality. Like, sexual people, sexual activity preference whatever you know mm. everybody have some judgment on how people should live with a or a sex mm. in our sex oh you never ever take this right i'm just saying like yeah, people just, should be free I always love body up and burn up the show I people guess. should be free <laughs> to do whatever they want in the comfort of their bedrooms and even be, and if they wish to bring it outside of their bedrooms like you know people should be f- should be free to live them life and without any well without so much judgment because mm. you know we all judge a little as long as you're not <laughs> force it down people choose but that. yeah and of course not down my children yeah as long as you're not doing <laughs> <them. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> right. right, just keep yeah just do, doing the thing you know what i mean yeah. 
Yeah. Especially in, in uh, says, uh, like women. I'm not going to tell you it, it, Yeah. It's way less egregious, if you will. Yeah, I'm just being, <laughs> I'm just being, it's let's be honest here, right? <laughs> like, uno, like, to own a grow is like, you know, kind of being conditioned for engaging in certain things, you know. True, like, I feel like, 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 me no see, uh, me can't to agree, is it, no, me can't to disagree, is it me? I and fault why, a woman for being attracted to another man woman. I can't fault a man to be attracted to another man because no, men no, are no, beautiful. No, 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 You know, they're no, sexy. No, no. Right, and I'm but, like, yo, yo, all right. yeah, like, all right, where, I get it. All right, where's like, my wife? Yeah, button? guy, I get all right, it where's my wife? Because yeah. yeah. gay men are beautiful, you know, and like some men to like just so pretty. You're like, oh, you're so pretty. God bless them though. I mean, healing energy. Me <laughs> <laughs> I remember karma instantly A people we heard can they so half drink No trust vehicle dog, no even taxi Can't catch me off guard like a bad kick I feel prepared for why like a mad squeeze mm-hmm. Can't wait for me knock on your door Chris and the yard, drop on the floor You dripping wet, body hot from the cold You work more than balling door When you see on me, I explode like that in the mind. Up in our position, we come from mine. 